Welcome to the Healing Project Behind the Scenes YouTube channel. group and this is Summer from The Healing Project and together we are bringing you Dear Apostates. Summer, please tell us a little bit about Dear Apostates. Dear Apostates is a forum where you can submit your letter, text messages, emails from your elder, your brother, your complete stranger that you don't know. And uh, we're going to help you give the correct response instead of a reaction because our goal is to help you to reply in power. So today, Summer, what letters do we have today? Well, today we are going to discuss how to cope with those triggers. Oh, yes. So the coping mechanisms we have when we receive or hear something mm -hmm. that we're not even expecting, you have a flashback yes. of something that recently happened. We've been taught to shove that down mm -hmm. and to suppress those feelings, to not you know, to act like we're, we are better and stronger than we are actually feeling in that moment. Right. So what coping mechanisms that are healthy, I mean, um, can we suggest to people that are going through that with that triggering moment? Got it. Wanna read that? That was it. Oh, that was it. <laughs> My bad, I thought, read, <laughs> done, check. <laughs> My bad. So. The first thing to say is, I say is this, it's okay not to be okay. I think that's the first thing you need to know, especially coming out of the organization that we were in. We spent so much time pretending and putting on this facade that I'm okay at all times and I am great and I am wonderful and I am good and I am bubbly. No, some days just fuck it. I'm sorry, I'm not okay today. I'm on a couch with Netflix and two bottles of wine and I will see you guys tomorrow. And that is okay. If you need a self, I call those days self-care days. Mm -hmm. um, I just had one yesterday. It was very good. Was down for no reason. Just didn't feel like doing anything. And it's okay to be not okay. Yeah. The second thing I think to say to, and I tell my friends this, and we've done this before, is to check in with somebody. Hey, I just need to talk. Mm -hmm. Hey, I just need to vent. Sure. Hey, this is what's going on in my head right now. Just help me release that chatter in my head. For me, those are the two ways that I deal with my triggers that I still get. How do you deal with your triggers? I think that what I've learned recently is to not wear the emotion. Mm. So you might have like waves of depression or mm -hmm. waves of rejection or waves of self-worthlessness. Right. And I think it's important to detach from the feeling first and be curious about it. Think about it. Why am I feeling this way? What's causing me to feel it? But you don't have to put it on like a coat and you wrap yourself True. up with it and you know, you can identify it, recognize it, be aware of it and then let it go. Um, just like a thought in a cloud. You see it, you know, then just let it float away. Let it float away. <laughs> you don't have to own it. You don't have to wear it. And then also, you're not alone. Yeah. You're never alone. You always have thousands of family members that have already been through what you've been through or going through it and we're fighting here together. So you're never alone. You don't have to overreact or underreact. Reach out to us, your apostate friends, and we'll teach you how to reply in power. Until next time. If you or anyone in your family and friends would like to show your support towards The Healing Project, feel free to order one of more of our t-shirts. Simply email us at allwedoiswinforyou at gmail.com. 
All proceeds goes towards the funding of the ongoing Healing Project documentary. If you would like to support our team, you can cash up us at the profile provided in the description below. Any support by you is greatly appreciated by our team. Thank you.